is there any skill to measure how advanced a civilization is and where we humans are present on this scale. In 1964, a Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev proposed a scale to measure the advancement of a civilization based on their energy consumption, known as the Kardashev scale. According to this scale, a civilization is considered more advanced if it consumes more energy. Nikolai Kardashev ranked civilizations into three types, type 1, type 2, and type 3. But later, three more types were added to the Kardashev scale, type 0, type 4, and type 5. Hence, total types are now 6. So now, let's discuss the six types of civilizations. Type 0 Civilization Type 0 Civilization has the lowest rank on the Kardashev scale. The energy consumption of this civilization is almost zero or negligible. Civilizations like our ancient civilizations come under this category who needed very less energy for their survival. Type 1 Civilization Type 1 civilization is capable of accessing and controlling all the energy that is received by their home planet from its star. This energy is equivalent to around 10 to the power of 16 watts. If we talk about the human civilization, we cannot call ourselves even the type 1 civilization as we have not been able to access and control all the energy that our planet Earth receives from our star, the Sun. So, where we actually fall on this scale? According to our current energy consumption, we can call ourselves a type 0.7 civilization on the Kardashev scale. If we could reach to a level of type 1 civilization in future, it would make us capable of dealing with any natural disaster like earthquakes, tsunamis, or volcanoes, etc. Type 2 Civilization Type 2 Civilization can access and control the entire energy of its host star. This energy, if expressed in numbers, would be nearly 10 to the power of 26 watts. Type 2 civilization would be capable of traveling to different planets of its solar system easily. If we could ever become a type 2 civilization, we would be able to access all the energy that is produced by the sun. Type 3 civilization It would be possible for a type 3 civilization to use all the energy present in its galaxy. A galaxy on an average contains hundreds of billions of stars. The total energy produced by all the stars combined would be too large for us to imagine. But scientists have calculated that this energy is around 10 to the power of 36 watts. Type 3 civilization would be capable of interstellar travel within its galaxy. Type 4 civilization Total energy present in the entire universe can be used by the Type 4 civilization. As the observable universe is known to have more than 2 trillion galaxies, and this civilization would have the technologies to harness all this energy. So, there would be no scarcity of energy for this highly advanced civilization. Traveling from one galaxy to another would be a normal task for this civilization. Not only this, they would be able to create new galaxies and destroy old galaxies with their super advanced technologies and limitless energy. A Type 4 civilization would be able to manipulate even the space-time. Type 5 Civilization Type 5 Civilization hypothesis is based on the multiverse theory, which says there are nearly infinite number of parallel universes. So, a type 5 civilization is not limited to a single universe. It would be possible for this civilization to control and use the entire energy present in all the universes in the multiverse. It would not be difficult for this civilization to travel between the universes. Seemingly impossible tasks like creating and destroying universes would be easily possible for them. They would be able to move anywhere in space and time of any universe. 
they would live in higher dimensions and nothing would be impossible for them this civilization would be able to do things that you cannot even imagine so it would not be wrong to say that a civilization that can control space and time of all the universes can create or destroy universes would be the god civilization according to kardashev nearly 3200 years would be required for the human civilization to reach type 2 when we would be able to harness the whole energy that our sun produces but to reach at the level of type 3 civilization next 5800 years would be required when it would be possible for us to use the entire energy present in hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy the milky way who knows how far will we go the time will tell friends this is all for now Did you find my video interesting? If yes, then please like the video and share it with others. And please consider subscribing my YouTube channel Engineering Made Easy so that you never miss my videos. Thank you for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.